channel everyone um, I'm glad you're here today I'm going to be doing one of my uh, mixed media weavings for those of you who aren't aware I have been doing a mini weaving every day um, for the 100 day project and I'm up to day 90 so really not far to go so I thought I'd film this one for you um, the strips here are just an old drawing that I cut up that I didn't want anymore I've stuck down some of my strips there and then I'm just weaving the other ones in between. So over, under, over, under and then reversing it and I carry on going till I've got um, a square. And I quite like using old drawings and stuff like that because you end up with um, some markings already there ready to go. I'm getting quite fast. I mean, this is slightly sped up, but I am getting quite fast at doing this now after 90 days. Last one. There we go. Now, for the past couple of days, I have been doing faces on my um, weavings, uh, these ones here. So I did this one first, which is my favourite one really pleased with how that one turned out and then this one so I thought I'd carry on and I'd do another first I need to sew it so here are off, off camera I just sewed it around on the sewing machine take off the masking tape and um, I'm just trimming it down and I'm grabbing a scrap piece of paper because it's full of holes just uh, to use so it doesn't go all over my desk and I'm starting with some gesso just to create myself a, a base. Now this one, I have to say, was tricksy. Um, I eventually like the end result. She's not my favourite, I have to admit. Um, but it was a while getting to the point that where I was happy with it. I'm just putting some background colour using some... Um, high flow acrylics and uh, these are golden so the, the using Nicorazo gold the magenta and some white just putting some on spraying it with water to move it around and then just drying it just to give myself a, a base now I'm getting some India ink and a very thin brush and I'm going to to mark out um, just a random face starting with the features I think initially she looked okay as you'll see and then she gets worse and worse and then I somehow managed to to pull it back um, at the end so there we are I'm just very randomly marking out where I think the hair will go as well And the eyebrows there and a neck, which I think I do quite a chunky neck really. Should have gone a bit thinner thinner. There we go. Anyway. So that's the starting point. I'm giving that a dry. And I decided to start off with some acrylic paint markers. And I whenever I'm doing a face I just tend to go from light to dark, dark to light, so I'm working with the highlights, I'm working with the shadows, I pick this blue and I, I lay it down and then try to move it about with some water to try and start creating some of the, the shadow on the face. It didn't move around so well, I think that probably the texture of the weaving didn't help. And then I picked this purple thinking it was uh, lighter than it was, it turned out quite dark. So I started putting that in the hair, grabbing a bigger brush and just moving that about. I quite, I'm, I mean, I'm quite enjoying trying out these faces just on the weavings, just to see, and they turn out differently every time. Um, and they're fun to do; they're really good fun to do. So it's just playing around and enjoying the process. So I'm, this is gesso now, I'm trying to put some of the highlights in on the other side of the face. A, a, 
this point, she doesn't look too bad. But I just... I keep going and I ruin it. <laughs> um, but I get, but I guess uh, the if you if you do uh, think you've ruined it, just to try, to try and keep going, um, I think it's the lesson I learnt here. And hopefully you can pull it back. This is uh, Prussian blue, one of my favourite acrylic colours, um, which I'm putting in. Start again, marking the hair out a bit more, and I use it again to put some more shadows in the face. I'm just playing, really. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not really thinking about it all that much. There we go. Not. She's not too bad at this point. I have been watching some of um, Tiff Goth Smith's fantastic sassy faces that she does. Um, that Southern Girl designs as well. I'll I'll put a link down to her channel below. Um, her faces are absolutely fabulous and I think I was inspired um, by her, particularly towards the end of this one, as you'll see. Um, his, she has just a way of, of placing down the paint which is just fabulous for her faces, so I really recommend going and checking her, her ones out. I added a little pink in there. This is just, that was Liquitex ink, um, just because I lost some of the pink in the background. Wanted to bring it back. I'm coming back to highlights with the gesso. Just going back and forth with light and dark. And I think in a minute is where I I really kind of feel like I I just go a bit far and I ruin it. I lose her face, um, I just lose her face somewhere in the paint, so. I think it's here, I just kind of feel like I, I lose it too much there and then I, I feel like I need to go back and redefine her face, so. I pull the India ink back out and decide to go over um, just to sort of find find her features again um, and find the shape of her face a little bit better. Her eyes go very dark there, but I try and fix that. Her face has got a bit wide, I think, so I'm trying to bring it in a bit more, a bit more, make it slightly narrower, just redefine her face really and as I did that I thought yes maybe I want to take a hair darker to just make the face stand out better so I got a bigger brush and went over the hair with the ink I think that worked better starting to come back again I dry and then I've got this is um, the acrylic paint marker in white this one actually wasn't very good so I, I switched to my, my uh, Posca chalk marker yeah and just putting some highlights in her eyes again and um, and using this to pull some of the highlights on the face a little bit more And then I decided um, that I was going to just randomly put some polka dots all over her hair. There we go. <laughs> so, and actually I quite like that. I, I, I quite like how that turned out. 
she ends up being very polka dotty. So I'm happier with the highlights using this, this chalk marker on the face. Um, I grab a dark blue um, Posca just again to go around and do the do the same with the with the shut with the shadow. Just using my fingers to blend it a little bit. I think I've I think I've managed to bring her back. Yeah. Um and then I decide totally inspired by Tiff Gothsmith is to put her some funky glasses on, which is something that she quite often does on her sassy sassy girls. I picked out this polka dot material again, more polka dots I told you she turned out very polka dotty. And I decided to go for little square glasses. So I'm just cutting out little squares and then cutting out the middles of, of them. And there we go, that's how she's going to end up looking. So just using a little bit of Fabri-Tec glue, I stick that down. I like how the texture of the weaving comes through the face. It makes it a little tricky to paint on, but they're good fun to play with. See, I don't think she's my favourite of the three I've done, but I managed to pull her back and I think she's uh, she worked out okay in the end. So that, I believe, I think I just use a little bit of gesso just to pull a, a bit more white space yes, in the background behind her. And then that is it. So I hope you've enjoyed watching, um, <laughs> like I say, it doesn't always go your way, but I thought I'd share it with you anyway. Um, she's not too bad. But thank you very much for watching and I will see you all again soon. Bye.